Okay, let's do it guys. Uh, doing a bit of a comparison today between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side here versus Ubuntu, uh, or otherwise known as Ubuntu Mate Edition, version 22.04 on the right hand side here. Now they are both the latest releases, they are both based off uh, the Ubuntu base, the Ubuntu 22.04 long term service release, so they are going to get updates for the next five years or so. Now starting off, uh, that's where the similarities end because uh, let's have a look at the desktop environments themselves. So on the left hand side here we've got the Cinnamon, a default desktop environment that Linux Mint 21 loves to use. And on the right hand side Ubuntu Mate of course loves to use the Mate desktop environment. Now they are they have been arranged a little bit separately. We've got a, a top and bottom taskbar for Mate whereas just the bottom one for the uh, Linux Mint there, very Windows-esque in a way. but. You can type in what you're looking for in terms of the apps and you'll be able to find it. Everything's all categorized there as well. If we were to say right click, we can see some of the same basic options, not the least of which is open in an upper terminal there. We'll move across to the, the file managers here. So slight differences here, but much of a muchness really. Uh, we're going with the, the, they've both got a bit of a gray and, and green and white color palette to them, don't they? Both of the operating systems, at least where the file managers are concerned. But they are a little bit different because uh, on the right hand side, we've got the slightly more lightweight Kjar file manager. Whereas on the left hand side, Linux Mint loves to use Nemo, but that's okay. We right click and we can, we've got a lot of options there, what we normally need. In fact, probably a few extra ones here on the Mate side. Did not expect that. Moving off to the, uh, let's have a look at the, the software menus and see what's going on here. So uh, if I was to do softwares and updates, can I even find the software manager? Nope. Let's have a look here, software. Software manager for Linux Mint, we can see right here. I wish I could see it, software updater, package installer, I guess. Software and updates, no, not really. So not a great deal there. We should have the, the, the software center here. No, that's a control center. Maybe they take it from Ubuntu. No, Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, so it's there, it's just not gonna be as pretty. And we've got this software manager for Linux Mint there. Moving across to the a little bit of the back end. So as you could expect, they are both running on the, the 5.15 kernel, one of the later kernels here. So great for, you know, later hardware, later newer laptops, graphics cards, CPU, microcode, Wi-Fi cards, all of the things like that. So very uh, in, uh, similar in that way, if not the same. Identical is the word I was looking for. And last but not least, and do take these values with a bit of a grain of salt. But on boot up, Linux Mint uh, seems to be using about 720 megabytes of RAM, whereas Ubuntu Mate Edition using about 650. So the Mate desktop environment is known to be just a little bit lighter. This is for people who like the old GNOME.2 stack interface. It's just a little bit simpler there. You put your little icons here, although you can do that these days with Linux Mint. Uh, but a little bit more lightweight basically there and copying the old version of how GNOME or GNOME used to look there. But uh, that's about it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.